Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to graph a trig function. We'll look at today the two basic trig functions, cosine and sine. Trig functions look like they're in waves, right? So they're going to be waves like this on the graph. For cosine, it intercepts the graph at 0, 1, whereas at sine, it's at 0, 0. Let's look at cosine first. On the graph, we want to label it with pi over 2 and pi. And that is how we, and this is negative pi over 2, and this is negative pi. Those are the increments that we want to set up the graph with. So it's going to intercept the y-axis here at, at 0, 1, and cosine is then going to come down and intercept the x-axis at pi over 2. And it's going to hit this point, negative 1 pi, and then it's going to come back up again. And it's going to make this wave function, right? So it looks like this if it keeps going. It's going to keep going like that. Sine, on the other hand, intercepts the origin. And again, keep the same increments, pi over 2, pi, negative pi over 2, and pi, negative pi. So it intercepts the origin, so it's actually going to um, intercept um, like, like this, right? Right? As long as it goes through the origin. So it's actually different. It hits at um, pi over 2, 1, right? So it's a little bit different than cosine. It's just shifted. If you think of the unit circle, right, it's shifted one over. And that is how you graph sine and cosine, some trig functions. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.